hear me? But welcome, Shout out to welcome, homie with the welcome, honey. welcome, welcome it's the to only another... food that never expires. This man right. needs Remember specs. that right. the when, when the world starts. another episode of In Opinions. I'm Jazz. We got Trey. Whoa. We got Pooh. And we have the chef. Ashley Junique. Slash let that girl. Wait, I'm glad to have another lady up here because I, I be getting bullied. Okay. No, no, that shit not yes, about to happen to the end. Can I curse? Yeah, man. Yes. That shit not about to happen to Fuck all that. Yeah, yeah. you can curse. Fuck all that radio yeah. shit. <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> well, speaking of chefs, um, Dean gave us some pizza. We should have got uh, Ash to come bring us some real food. Period. Damn, yeah. they just put me on the spot. Cause she, yeah. she yeah. like the real chef. You know that's eating how they fancy. Feel about a chef. We were talking about linguine. noodles that go with certain <laughs> foods and noodles that don't go with certain foods. That's, you know. The we, first thing I ever had from Ashley was a shrimp burger. My yeah. first kid. The shrimp inside the burger, dog. Yeah, he was a special home. sesame <laughs> bun or something. It was. Wipe your mouth, tree. What? Like yeah. He's drooling. Drooling. Oh. And drooling. I had. Burger. We could just go down the uh, aisle. Down the line. <laughs> Ashley posted these um, egg rolls that had jambalaya and chicken. I had them jambalaya mm-hmm. egg And it was rolls. like cut and your pictures they be had pretty. Them at the, uh, you know what's crazy? A lot of people try to mimic stuff that other people do. Mm-hmm. And they say that's the biggest form of flattery. But to me, it wasn't. Because I'm like, y'all not doing it right. Right. Right, exactly. I never First try to make it. Egg roll. Cute. I know it don't taste the same. The taste is something that I wasn't worried about mm-hmm. because that's something that's like a personal thing. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, y'all not doing it right. I'm not flattered at all. And you could tell that Ashley loves to cook. Because some people very cook because they got to cook. behind that shit. That shit is yeah. bad. Yeah. Ashley, Ashley, a whole superstar me, out here. But it's not me on TV me. shows. Oh, oh, TV Ashley, shows. She was, was on chop. Yeah. She was on chop, you did. Regular little chef. What did you make on chop? I, uh, what I they got shot for cook? doing lamb. What no, they? not lamb. It was goat. You went there, That was the first round? No, the first round they gave me crawfish tails. And you busted. I knew, no, it was a setup. This is the thing that people don't know. Yeah. Whatever you make on that, they can use it for whatever they want to. Mm. So, oh. say I did my crawfish egg rolls the first round. They could have used that for, you know, a food network cooking. Right. I read the whole that down. So what did you make? Somebody gonna say I'm selling that shit. What you so make? That's not you sign. Pastas, just some like some easy. Yeah. Because I knew what to do with it. Already. Yeah. How you even got that look though? Like was it? You know somebody? what's crazy? This guy on Instagram, one of the few chefs that I do follow. He um he's a celebrity chef also. He feeds I think one of the Ravens. But anyway, he was on one of the shows and he actually won. And they told him they were looking for strong females to go on chop. He was like, look, Slim, I know you don't want to do this shit. I know you don't like TV and all this attention, but I feel like this would be a good look for you. So mm-hmm. I was like, all right. I contact the people back because they hit me up too, mm-hmm. and I wound up doing it. And I, at the time, I had separation anxiety because mm-hmm. I had a baby. Mm-hmm. He was only like nine months. Blessing. Then he was breastfed. He never sucked a bottle. So... I was like, what Ooh. the fuck he gonna do? He gonna be home. Stuff women break. gotta think about. Right, exactly. Girl. At least I had titties then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not like Ashley's shelf. Her stomach is flat. So you I made don't it understand. The first round of chopped. Yeah. The second round, they so they asked you to cook they certain things or you cook candy. what you want. They gave me ruby candy and it was um, the goat. So I made the ruby candy out of a sauce because that's something similar to something that I do already. So that part wasn't hard. Yeah. I didn't know the texture of the goat. I didn't know it was like a lamb chop. So. I cooked it wrong. I didn't really want to win. I just wanted the exposure. I was the only right. female and the only black person. So how the show go? I feel like you wanted to win. Who don't want to win? Random I shit? won by going, period. For me, I feel that. It's always a win for the opportunity, but, but see, you wanted to, to me, win for winning, sure. It depends on the person what winning is. Right. Because mm-hmm. some people you wanted the 10 racks. I didn't want the get the experience. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted to just put myself out there, you know, like in a different way and do something that was outside of my comfort zone. Did being on that show open more doors for you as, as towards your cooking career? Hell yeah. Yeah, a lot, huh? Yes. Yeah. So Thrillist, which is like a travel and leisure agency slash magazine, whatever, they um they have shows that's on Amazon Prime and YouTube. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they contacted me to be the gatekeeper for New Orleans to show them around all the cool spots. Of course, I brought them to all the black spots. And I brought them to people that I knew that were credible. Mm-hmm. So I brought them to Studio B, to Neil's, you know, like the shit there, yeah. the jazz market that we actually do, opposed mm-hmm. to bringing them to Bourbon Street. That right. was the place I was right. not going to bring them. Right. right. So um, the people liked me so much, and the response was so good. Like, in the comments, they asked me to be the host for the second season. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what I was doing. Yeah. Congratulations. Wait, what was that? You were eating, like, it was something that was hot. Oh, no, I was with him in uh, Leon. 
Mexico. I was so I was fascinated. Trying. I was wild. I was in my phone like, <laughs> what were y'all doing? Show. Looking for honey? What y'all no. doing? <laughs> His family is out there, so we just <laughs> okay. Was, and they were eating. What was it? Exclusive it, was, it, was, it was guacamole. It was basically a pork skin uh -huh. that was deep fried, but they served it two different ways. So where they soaked it in like this um in a pico. Mm -hmm. But it went back to its natural form, the texture, so it was kind of jiggly and whatever. Okay. But oh, the fried yeah. version, I loved it. So I created it my own way. Uh -huh. And I um, I took the pork grinds and I made it like a crust with some shrimp and some avocado and put it on the pool bar. And that See, I be saying Damn, I could cook, but shit? actually be cooking. I taste it. Like the science. Yeah. You know what? It's the great. science behind it. That was one just of my creative. hashtags. The kitchen is my lab because that's how I feel like a scientist. Like I just go in and whatever I think of in my mind, like I can really bring that shit to life. And it's not being cocky. Like it's I can know what you do doing. that shit, right? You could so, do that shit. Cause who thinks? Shout like who? You. Who thinks? I'm stuck. My so mom jambalaya. Like, she was like, in an egg roll. <laughs> my mom was like, she I know was you good. were high when you created yeah. that shrimp burger. Like, like, yeah. like, I just, I'm, I'm excited. So where did it start for you as your career? Where did, I remember you was at Double Black. Well, before then, I was trapping on my car. I got okay. popular on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I was always dressed up. I have on, like, some cool-ass donks, a cool-ass customized yeah. jacket suit with, like, my logo and, and shit delivery. on it. Right. Trapping on my bug. I had a red bug with some tin on there. I had some 12. Yeah. You heard me coming every time. But I was like, instead of me working for somebody else, making their dream come true, I don't like mm -hmm. the way people run the shit anyway. And right. I don't want to be boxed in by just cooking out of a binder, working for, right. like, a restaurant. So what could I do? You know, so I just so did what, what you I did started with though. Food. What you started with, what like food? yo, like what food you? It started? was just all kind of random shit. Yeah. Even right. when I was in culinary school, I used to take the the ingredients home. Like I'll go to school, get the ingredients, and leave school. Right. And right. go home and do what the hell I wanted. Yeah. So that just kind of once I, I don't know what the first thing was that I was like, man, I could really do this, but. Mm -hmm. Whatever it was. Did you cook when you were younger? Yes, I did. We all had separate grocery lists in my house. So really? me and my brothers, like, yeah, my mom, I'm going to make groceries. Everybody write down what they want. Make have. groceries. Yep. I'm going to make them. Make them. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no make grocery them. shop. I always had pretzels, like a lot of seafood, buku vegetables, and I knew it was shit my brothers wasn't going to eat. Right. So I had That's all that to myself. See? When we was younger, my mama just give me some chicken noodles, the See, mama, mama noodles. But right. even though she was in, she was a single mom, she was in nursing school, but she used to cook at least four times a week, all fresh ingredients, all of that. And my grandmother, she ate really healthy, too. So mm -hmm. I already, like, the way that I eat now, the purple sweet potatoes and all that, I've been eating like that since I was a kid, and it just never went away. So purple sweet potatoes. Never yeah, had them? check my never page. I'm it. man. Never heard But it. you know what's crazy? The white ones are the sweetest out of all of them. From White sweet potatoes? Yeah, from... My um, my knowledge. I ain't never heard see, of white he, sweet potato. You right. putting him that's on what, new food. But see, that's <laughs> what I want to do. I want to get black people to eat better. Just because I'm willing, I'm willing to try all of it. Mm -hmm. if, it's, yeah. if it's natural and organic, I'm with. I'm but with that me, way. Tell me this: if somebody that you didn't know offered you something that you never had, opposed to somebody that you kind of knew from your same background offered you something like son, you go like this. I know you go like it. You gonna trust me, right? At yeah, least. So sure. that's what I'm saying. And a lot of people, oh, I don't eat Some this, people not trying that shit if that's their best friend, though. Some people just don't eat certain shit. I'm going to make you but eat But I try shit. everything. Well, I know, well, try I know everything. you're eating pallet, too, so I, I know you're try it. everything. See, yeah. she know you're eating pallet. Yeah. Like, right. t like <laughs> what's but that something that you have to learn? Like, all the celebrities I've had, like, in my phone, I have notes, all the stuff that they liked, all the stuff they didn't like, mm -hmm. the flavor profiles that they went for, opposed to other things. Right. I'm really hands-on. Right. That's is is Cooking is literally a science. That's an art. But not I love it because right. stuff go wrong all the time. Right. I don't care how many shows y'all see me on or how many fire pictures y'all seen, I still mess stuff up. What's the last yeah, thing you messed up? So um, what's considered a mess up, though? Yeah. When something so, huh. is good. Sometimes you have an idea in your mind. Yeah. Or too salty. Or well, I ain't going to say too salty because I know how to like hold back. I'd rather add less I'd rather add not a lot of salt right, and just right. add to it as I go right. opposed to whatever. Doing but. too much. Yeah, yeah, like I don't want to do too much. But, um, Can't take that away. I don't know the last thing I messed up. Because <laughs> I ain't been fucking up lately. Yeah, um, 2020. Oh, bro. Yeah. I've, been, I've been in my So bed. how far you reach out though? Like how you So you just make up stuff on the whim. Just I used to dream of shit and I wake up out of my sleep. 
Like, I'm one of those people. I can just, <laughs> fucking just look at a couple of ingredients I and I can just do something with it. Lobster, crab, I don't meat think I ever pad. dreamed about no food as much as I love it. Well, I could do I know for sure I could do I done daydreamed about but it. But that's food, not your passion, like, is my passion. Oh, if I, could, I love some that's food. That's not real passion like, dreaming it. Well, no, that's I'm not your passion. <laughs> but as far as cooking and, like, creating recipes, it's kind of like with clothes of uh, people who do art, who paint up. Fashion right. design. Yeah. That's why it's called you culinary have special, art. You right. have a special bond with people that feeds you, man. Like Hell you could, yeah. like you feel their energy through the food. Like, I was about to say, I ain't, I ain't eat nobody food. If you mad, look. that's what I'm trying to and tell you. Know, everybody, I, guess what? One day I cooked for my mama. She was like, "What's wrong?" And I was like, "What you mean?" Like, "What you mean? What's wrong?" Right. I had taste. She was like, I know you was either tired or you thinking about something. Mm -hmm. They could tell. So, yeah. right. And black people, that shit matter. Like, all yeah. that. Who, 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 who making a potato salad? salad? Do you cook a lot at home? Making a potato salad? Like, yeah, I Do you cook a lot at home? It's a certain. Do you cook a lot at home? I cook like six days a week. Six I cook every, week. almost every night. So, you run the business and go home and cook. Right. That's, see, that's, I bring the bacon. That's I bring the bacon. Yeah, Jazz, you know how to cook. I do know how to cook. First of all, I don't want y'all to make her feel. Like she had to cook because First she of all, wanted. women Man, do have to women cook. Need to you be out have here to, trying to back in the day. Back thing. in the day, back they the used day. to go in the woods and kill the deer, cut it up, and Fuck give it to their wife. To cook. Yeah. You're about to listen to this. My son. Four years old had his first fucking custom. I remember that. that. Man, so cute. Lions, the women go get the food for the lions. But guess what? He's hustle. not going to need a woman to do that. Like in his room, he have a fake washer and dryer. All this shit, she will be begging him to stay. Right. That's I not feel her that. job. Yeah. You gotta know how to do all that for sure. But that's that's not her job. I know how to it cook. It ain't a job, but a woman. I just I be feel like a woman should. You gotta at least know how to cook. A, the courage to feel like okay, Especially I'm not if really have my it, child. What if I'm not good? I'm, I'm, or this I'm cannot be to learn. this cannot be a gender thing, and everybody just needs to know how to cook. Everybody right, needs to know how to cook, <laughs> right? Guess what? If she's she lacking on that, she either. feel like I know how to cook, right? Because she ain't about to just be satisfied. Nah, because I know all if all you don't come home, everybody needs to know how to cook. Because you're cheating. Look, you know, if y'all come home, both y'all know how to cook. Cheating and they'll come home. I gotta cook. If you gotta cook meal every night, you know nigga gonna be there. Your food. Well, yeah, it's ten o'clock. But well, back to me knowing how to cook. I know how to cook. I don't. I don't know the science. But you know how to, you know how to cook grilled yeah, cheese. A, uh, I, actually, I don't book? know how to cook. I mean, grilled a cheese. recipe. You know how to cook gumbo. Crawfish a two fit. No, not you yet. learn how to cook. My, my on, favorite thing to cook. Fast, wait, fast, wait fast. Ashley, I remember. I, I don't know how to cook a roux, dog. That's her thing, y'all. She loves scallops. Yo. And I guess who Me I too, I got Jazz. on the phone Me and was too, like, Jazz. is this right? Do I need to flip them? And nah, Ashley was like, see, I, I fuck with them so hard, much. I'm scared to try. I'm to not cook about to myself. cook no scallops. You gotta man. try because I didn't know what I was doing and it was yeah. good. I didn't watch that. She's like, you're supposed like to be there. Really, you really can't just fry grilling it. Yeah. Really good. I'm a beast with the salmon. I'm a beast with the salmon. I don't know how to cook fish. I can't. I can't cook fish. Let me tell you, the best way that I can tell you to cook fish is sear it on one side first and then flip it over and turn off the burner. Because it's going to still cook from the Yeah, That's why. I'll get a fish on the half shell and put it on the grill. Well, my dry fish. My fish wasn't dry. You heard me, Ashley? Get the red fish on the half shell and put it on the grill. It was in down stuff. Yeah. You ain't have enough. I was trying to, look, I was trying to blacken it and it was stuck on the pan. I'm just sort of, sort of so what was the lube that you used? Like, what was the fat? Was this is, I have a bad off? habit of putting butter in my no, pan man, for everything. No, man, you got to put but that no, extra butter. version. But you have to make sure the temperature man. is right. Because if it's too hot, that's it you made? What you made? I'm the person that'll put She's the butter on the stove and let it cook and forget that the pot. It's But my best recipe is shrimp and okra. With the red okay. with the tomatoes right. and stuff. Don't, don't, don't sleep. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Don't sleave. Sleave. Don't sleave. Shrimp okay. over, don't, don't leave me hanging. hanging. What's yours? Don't, don't oh, leave sorry. me hanging. What's your, what can you cook, Trey? I know how to cook uh, a lot of good shit. <laughs> Trey can't right. cook. I'm not going to Steak, steak <laughs> shrimp, <laughs> fish, <laughs> stuffed bell, peppers. You hear me with the jambalaya on the inside? Put the I cheese give it on to Trey, though. Day. I be he doing at least he's willing to try. For sure. What I don't know how to do, though, is cook no gumbo or no roux type things. You know, I got to learn. What I don't know how to do it because I haven't learned it. You know what's you know, crazy? I, I never tried, I never tried to learn. I, how to make, I was like nine or ten, yeah. and I would fucking cry if it didn't come out right. See, I never I tried. I I my grandpa, my uncle, they all had restaurants. Right. 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 Right
balance place. That's another reason why I want to do like some culinary classes because people please. be spending like fucking forty five yeah. minutes on the please. Like, I'll man, come I need this some in ten recipes, seconds. man. I, wait, I, wait, what should we cook? I, I, I could cook, cook the shit out of some blue runners, though. We gotta find out what. You hear me? I could kill some blue runners, cook the shit out of them. I could fry the shit out some shit too. But you could fry. Yeah. I know how to fry cauliflower now. So you. I feel like you on another level to where you can. I am, but I just gotta learn it. Yeah. So what you gotta do? What you gotta do? That's what I wanna know for the the fried cauliflower. What I gotta do? It depends on the batter that you use. Can I tell you my secret and you tell me if I'm doing it wrong? You gonna tell me your secret, okay? Well, it's not a secret. Y'all telling it to me. All right. I just want to have your back in that. This what I do. It ain't a secret. It's just (laughs) this what I do. So I take the cauliflower. You can use frozen or fresh, and I have like a wet batter and a dry batter. That's right. Wait, what's a wet batter? A wet batter is like so. I use the chicken fry, and I'll. Keep like the chicken like fry mixed wash? with, no, not egg. It's just chicken wet like fry. flour. No, it's the the um the chicken batter and I put water in it. What flour, chicken corn batter, water. Water. chicken you batter. Fry it after you put. So water in? I put it in a wet batter and then I put it in the chicken batter mixed with flour and like coat it and then. What is chicken batter? Chicken fry. Chicken fry. Wet fry like with chicken with. Oh, like fish fry. Yeah, but it's, but it's chicken, chicken, chicken fry. fry. Yeah. Oh, all right, yeah, all right. and that's how I do it. And it's, it tastes like. Wait, wheat. so why you put water in a wet batter? Cause that's just how I was taught. So she. T- t- well, how else do you make it wet? You, you, you probably see Tina stretching it or something. It, they usually do an egg wash, so oh, you will usually put something no like cornflour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we probably. <laughs> no well, you will probably do something like flour or cornflour first, mm-hmm. and then you dip it in the egg wash, which is um is eggs and is milk, and you just whisk it together. Oh. Then you dip it in that. Then you dip it in another batter, whether it's the same one or a different one. I was making project wings yeah, and that. didn't even know I'm pancakes were water. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. You didn't up my. We got, we got, we got to get our protection try. team better. They brought us pizza. We need, uh, we need some healthy shit. We need grilled meat. salmon. Well, man. he did have pizza with the tomatoes and the onions yeah, and the pizza. chicken. Yeah, you know. Beans, 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 beans tomatoes. Salmon and all that. Don't even know they're eating cloned salmon. Cloned. Oh, that's salmon. why he eats fish. What well, they swash why? I would never. See what Nigga, I'm saying? Why would you Everything. Yeah, man. like they have all kind of stuff. That's. I, I, I stay away from it. I, so niggas don't know what to eat. Niggas just need you to You really don't, to be honest, because right. they have your food. But I feel like the vegetables are GMO. Right. To well, I get mine from a garden. See, so that's, that's, that's a fact. Garden, garden Bay. We need to get into hey. this farming <laughs> industry. That boy, do got a little thing tomorrow. You are what you eat, Nola. Yeah, shout, shout out to out, them. Yeah, they got a little out. event tomorrow. You are what you eat. You are. Yeah, they show you how to 30, cook and I'm they got a garden with food. And I'm trying to get the stomach. She about to be when 20, I tell you I gained 20, 20 pounds last year. She about to be how old? Well, wait, wait. There is. I'm not saying. If I keep it there. Please. So young. In September. So young. September she looks so young. September 1st. I fucked up. We get a lot I'm of a people. Virgo too. We get a lot of people on here that's young. August 23rd. I knew it was August. Y'all, you a horoscope person? No. I don't fuck with it. So why you left double black? What happened with Double Black? It burned down. It left me. Oh, you were still there but when it, before it burned no, down? I was having a baby, and it burned down the next day. So Damn. that was a law. I was about to say that was That's one of your, that was one of, that was one of your fuck Congratulations. I'm sorry to... Well, it wasn't my fuck up because I didn't burn it down. I was making too much money. Right. But at the same time, I feel like as far as where I wanted to go mm-hmm. in my culinary career, I had to leave that behind because right. I would have just Everything been boxing. For a reason. Yeah, like I would have been boxing, serving the wings, and, a, and all that's cool, but that's not... Right. That's not, That's not your vision. You over yeah. here making scientific food. Period. I got a whole Good. carrot marinara that I'm trying to put on the market. Yeah. You know, like Period. stuff that Walmart. nobody else is thinking about. Whole marinara sauce. So. That's what's like, I love food. Like, well, I can't wait to come to the restaurant. <coughs> to be honest, let that I'm girl cook in the on Instagram. Oh, that's y'all want y'all private but, dinners? But we have we a lot of a lot of our guests Holla. so far have been really young people, and y'all like doing big shit. Hell yeah. Which is about time, but times have changed. Like we exposed to way more. We have mm-hmm. a lot more outlets because mm-hmm. the information yeah. out there. Now, yeah, you know? and then you, like you know how to get people it so fast. Mm-hmm. Like it's, I'm right. okay with it. Like you yeah. said, like social that. media. Instagram changed my life. At first, I was like, fuck social media. Mm-hmm. I don't want people in my business. Instagram. Man, that's how all the celebrities started contacting me. That's how people started seeing my work. Like, everything right. happened because of Instagram, to be honest. Real. That's a right. good clout. Success and speaking story. of clout. It's so easy to make money in these times, right? Right. And it's so easy to lose it. To you, know I'm about to, right you know I'm about to say something. <clears throat> speaking of clout, we're talking about these... Um, Celebrities that do stuff for attention. Oh my God. This is cloud world. So, let let's go back to LSU winning. Congrats, LSU on Shout getting. Shout out LSU. On getting. You almost had the LSU champs out there. All right. Purple and gold. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Shout Roll out to the Saints choking. 
There you go. I don't want to talk about it. We're not going to talk about that. We're talking about LSU, though. We're going to talk about LSU. And congrats to them. But then one of our, our New Orleans natives. Can oh, we trade uh, him for this? Situation? We, we need to switch him out. Man, homie from Metairie, know. man. That homie ain't no fucking mm-hmm. native. He is. He's from Metairie. <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, we, we've been claiming him. We've been claiming him. Well, you know how we are. We going to claim you until you fuck up. Exactly. And then, like, nah. that was late. I don't get off. Right. So, first, the thing with the hand and the play is the money. Like, even somebody said he was turned. Okay. Cool. But you got to be smart. I don't want to be around somebody that turns that they just have right. just be out of control. But it's, like, I feel like it's it all lit. for yeah. a show. But you gotta, like, you gotta, you gotta realize, Jazz. Like his life is a show now. He probably just, to have like he yeah. probably yeah. just bet. On, he probably bet on LSU and was drunk. Like he probably bet on them. But you, them college yeah. players yeah. cannot like, touch pop. money. My, but yeah, they but could. You know dude, they doing on dude could touch money because he's no longer a college player. He going to. That wasn't the only person that he gave cheese to. It's not. But see, see, that's when he just, that's think. what I just feel like. He just, he living in a whole different character. Like when he in the public, everything is all about him. It's a show. Right. right. And when he didn't, he go over the limit. Like that was a, a fucking event that he, of course he about to go over the limit. And he don't even realize that until the aftermath. Right. He don't even realize what he was doing at that moment. Right. I like, guarantee you, he was exactly. out of body. Too late. He was out of body. And this is my thing. Let you <clears throat> had your time. I don't. I guess y'all didn't win the championship on your watch, but it's like you have your light. Let these young players have their light. Like you don't have to be LSU or and, and then, Odell Beckham graduating. And they get a warrant for him because he slapped like, the police that. officer. And that's, that. I'm like, everybody don't want you to touch him on their booty. And so, you know what he told him too? You know what he told him after they did it? Get this cat. <laughs> that's what he started telling him after yeah, on the whole really Black him. Lives yeah. Matter no that's not your song to sing to this police officer we got a warrant and people and people keep arguing like the NOPD wrong for that however that is sexual harassment if you think about it at the end of the no, day no it's not we in the locker room just, that man just, ain't on that won team. A championship. All, that a, man ain't not on that team. Period. The they officer's not a football player my nigga get out then if he did locker room celebrate it's some soft ass shit we're in the, the locker the room day, celebrating right he, now. He, he if you don't want your in. ass slapped in here, get out. <laughs> we just we just and won then, the championship. Then they gonna talk about sexuality. You see what I'm saying? Mm. He, well, I mean, a lot where of people Tasha they, when we need they, him. They, he was kinda, it looked like he was <laughs> looked like he was in one of the football players' business, asking them what kind of drink that was. Because they they're not supposed to say, have that. Get in there. out. Yeah, he in that bitch regularly. Get out of here. But you know we can't smoke in our buildings. Like, oh, I see on there looking at him like this old bitch ass nigga. Man, championship nigga, they, they hand out cigars. What you mean they, they ain't supposed <laughs> to Wait, okay. They Y'all, pass them cigars out to the players. I, I get that, but we also know the laws here. You can't smoke inside of a facility. Man, nigga smoking. smoke inside. I know, everywhere. I get it. You can't smoke in the house of blues. Period. And I get it, but I'm just saying. Time. That police felt like ruining the moment. That don't mean you go grab his booty. He was white. So you have to think about this. A lot of, for one, he probably was mad that he had that fucking job. That and white man saw all these young black people celebrating. Mm-hmm. And Odell have a lot of, he have his own. Just waiting to use money, authority. Right? So, right. I mean, that probably was. I mean, but at the that same white time, that white cop saw opportunity to Homer make some cheese. I'm not much, about to dog. thank you, Pooh. I, I really, here. I just really feel like he, he doing was too doing much. too much. But like you ain't even gotta be. You the only other to nigga to that you the only other nigga that's in that got that type of footage in the locker room. That's alumni, my nigga. Right. Like they ain't got no other niggas well, in that bitch no. on camera doing all that type of shit. I understand you. You the wave, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you are the wave. You the dancer. But you ain't gotta be doing all it's that. Not my your nigga. time to shine. Like wait till them niggas leave. Like wait till this shit is go over. out tonight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This I just, in the and, locker room. And before lit. the whole charging thing came up, I text a friend of mine that that's cool with him. I guess, and I'm like, why? Like why you gotta do all that? He extra. Talking about that's just who he that is. Nigga well, now that's going to be who he is with them charges. But which I'm sure are petty charges. Yeah, but then that's going to follow him wherever he goes. You go be playing the so. people, Jazz? Just, huh? You be playing the people? <laughs> I be playing, no. I, but I'm going to say what's wrong is wrong and what's right. Oh, all right. Might be right. All right. Somebody walk in here and slap me on my booty. I don't, I didn't, you can't do that. That's yeah. th- man, six nine. nine. Unless you get out of jail, yeah. that dude we talked about on the last one of the other shows. Is he getting, getting out? out? They gave him two years or something. I think he got a year left or so. If he make it, ride it on the whole world. Yeah, that's if y'all the problem. I mean, but that goes back. You wouldn't have ride it on somebody was plotting to kill you. No, 
No, we chat. We're not about to talk about this no more. <sighs> right, right. <laughs> so we we didn't talked about that already. <laughs> I know what we can talk about. Speaking, I got I got some. What you got? This man Boosie, y'all. I don't know if Boosie's gonna nigga, start man. like a dead. comedy nigga, series. <laughs> Boosie, one of the coldest niggas this on. This nigga so said something on the live the other day, dog. I was like, this nigga crazy. He said, my partner's so savage. You hear me? He done stuck a finger in the nigga ass. You hear me? Nigga was fucking with us. You hear me? He done stuck a finger in my partner. I'm like, ooh, you a sad. Like, I don't want to hang with no niggas who going to stick a finger in a nigga. Oh, ass they Tasha, where you at, Tasha? But no, <laughs> like, don't. Shout out to like, Boo, man. Yeah, I made crazy, Boo. dog. Uh-huh. It's really refreshing to be around somebody who really just don't give a fuck about you. He don't give a fuck. Right, because everybody can't. Right, like, they just care about, oh, how I look or how these people going to see me. He don't give a fuck how he look to y'all. Yeah. He being himself. And yeah. that's something that I definitely. You served him before? Yeah, All right. when he got out of jail. What you cook? What you cook for him? They made though? me, I made lasagna, like, I made seafood lasagna. Okay. He was like, man, you ain't got no regular lasagna. I was like, nigga, I got this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he, he just wanted regular some regular lasagna. meat. Yeah. I got I this, Playboy. Right. I didn't take offense to it, but again, I'm trying so, to turn people onto some new stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, Definitely. Boosie feels like, because uh, he wanted to learn how to stroll. Um, but the, the cap was First of all, he oh just. Oh, no, he had this. Started with the sweatshirt. the fucking shirt. I wonder if somebody gave it to him but or something. No, he went so bought it. He bought that it himself. Said, that nigga said, I was looking for something red. I saw that motherfucker and bought that shit. Yeah, and wore it to a game. He probably no, he, he went and bought it. From where? A store. Well, I got this from the thrift store. What in the bought? airport. That's what I was saying. What did he buy? In the airport. He bought a cap of shirt. They don't they sell a cap of shirt. Um, so what happened? Man, man, that so shit he wore it. He bought that shit okay, from the so store. Trey doesn't know what happened. He wore it to a basketball game or something, and people must have been telling him. Or I think his brother's actually a cap of. Yeah, his little um, A new or whatever. Um, but he was like, son, you can't just put that on. Like, that's not how that goes. You have Ooh. to iron your letters. And he was like, what you mean? You know, Boosie. Yeah. Like, then he went so far First as of all, the strolling. Post was, the the post was, was I'm cap fresh <laughs> with the shirt on, with the cap That's what he said. I'm cap fresh yeah. You know what? Yeah. He don't give a fuck. But <laughs> look, look, his argument. On it. No, it's it was it, great. The whole shit. Right. The, the group I like, oh. Look, that's Wrong not even. See, hey. see, <laughs> nigga, you, that nigga, that nigga you can't. To that's not even that. Sir. That nigga went to college and everything. Doing I wasn't the nigga Wait, trying to be in a fraternity. That's the cues. So. Oh. That's why he don't know what he doing. Hey. But <laughs> shut up, man. <laughs> shut this. I used shut to be up. so mad in the club when them niggas start just Ooh, pushing go. everybody out the way, dancing with. That's what the shimmy and shit is. Like that's what. <laughs> so, that's but look, Boosie, Shout out to the frat Boosie though, felt like I guess later he found out that the campus and everybody else be strolling to wipe me down. So he like y'all telling me I can't wear y'all shit. I feel him. But y'all, you know that's y'all all, all strolling yeah. right down. In a day and age we in, he could have started a wipe me down challenge. He could get paid off of this show. I think I think yeah. it's gonna go far. This but now he about to he, now he about to give back to him though. He right, said that's he, good. Yeah. Teach him how to do the shit like. He I mean, said he about to start a um he about to have a whole group full of rappers that's gonna shim at the Boosie Bash. That's, hey, wait, they had like a little probate from that movie with all of them, Duval and him. Yeah. From, uh, Stumpy, yeah. That actually would be pretty Stumpy, funny. Yeah. Yeah. That would be pretty funny. Shout How you feel about movie. that? Buck Buck's what uh, that movie Kappa. was with Omari on it. You got served. Oh, Buck a Kappa? Buck's the Kappa. Are you a Kappa? How you feel? Yeah, Kappa. Dina, you a, uh, Dina, Al- Dina uh, Alpha. Dina so Alpha. So how you how you feel about it? Yeah. How you feel Hold on, is y'all beefing? Is, you, you is Alpha, Alpha, is Alpha in the, uh, <laughs> you a Kappa, eh? Yeah. You done told him something? Is Kappa's yeah, and Alpha's yeah, beefed out right now? Nobody's beefed out. Oh, all right. All brothers, you understand? But you can't just wear no nail you. Haven't gone through what have we gone through. <laughs> to get the letter. What have y'all gone through? Blood, sweat, tears. Tell them don't worry about yeah. it. You gotta go through it to get through. I remember one time, nigga was like, you didn't man, feel my pain. He my was brother. like, man, they woke us up at four in the morning, and told us to go get find us a purple Coca Cola. You hear me? See, See, bro, we ain't trying to fuck. And the dude can't. And the, the the answer was a purple like, power. I just know yeah. my organization is a non hazing organization. Oh yeah, ain't you? Um, so in oh y'all, I remember here. Look how she got. Yeah. Yeah. She got well, yeah, and shit. Oh, no. How you felt That's about this? Crazy. How you feel about it? I y'all gotta realize, I am not a serious person. If it was like on some disrespectful shit, I would have been like, eh. but, but I really feel they, like they paddled you. No, I don't want nobody wearing my letters. So maybe that's a different thing. What did what? you have to go through? What to are you? What if you, on? you had to do people homework. That would be weird. What are you? Well, yeah. I'm a letter? Delta. So that's the same colors. What's y'all noise? That was your. That was your. That wasn't me. It's not my What's the Delta noise? <laughs> <laughs> what's the Delta noise? 
was my Delta noise. Ow. <laughs> oh, y'all see what I gotta go through? I was trying to keep it on low. But no, I I mean, yeah, I wouldn't know. But I wouldn't know if it was I, I just if it was a female just putting on my letters. I would she feel some type B, of way. She caught it, just Absolutely not. If she, if she didn't, if she didn't look, if she didn't pledge to get the letters, then but what I don't, if, you know what, 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 if, what if they, that's what they come out to uh, all the Cardi B uh, songs. And I don't give a damn. If you didn't, you didn't. There's, it's a sacred. I feel that, I guess. It's a sacred thing that all of us do. So y'all are gay. And it's called mind your business. If you didn't do it yet, right? Um, but no. Okay. So I, I, I would not be okay with. Shout that. out to y'all, man. You but you me? couldn't do it. Do my nah, final. It's doing. I mean, two it's not hours. for everybody. Nah, it's not for everybody. Do my final. It's doing two he, hours. See, he didn't watch too many movies, kind of. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, he, he is a movie. He's wow, trying to on your head the whole time. He's a character off a movie. <laughs> and it's 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 but the like Dean said, we all brothers, we all sisters. Is the whole beef thing is kind of like, right. I mean, I'm not gonna say it doesn't happen, but it's kind of to me, it's lame. Yeah, like that's we're all up. trying to make the world a better place. You know, that's what's up. Shout out to the cappers. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to the shout out shout to, to the to frats. You heard me? The frats. Alpha's face. Alpha's. But let's um. What y'all noises is? <laughs> Look how they call it noises, y'all. Noises. He didn't say the sound. Alpha this is. Last nigga you would ever think that would be an alpha. Oh yeah, for sure. What is, what is true? What is y'all? What is y'all noise? What? Do they do? Like the chart. Oh, that boy said, "Oh, six. Yeah, look, crazy shit. I was sick." The other day, and my old lady, she was like, Man, uh, you might have a concussion. What y'all was doing? Why you got a concussion? You fell off the bed, nigga? You have a no surgery friend that you call? And guess what? I said, Yes. My LB, a neurosurgeon. Yeah. Yeah. It's called connection. Hey, oh yeah. This, this, oh, this, 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 this what I'm saying. Did he do? Did give you a scan for free? If not, we could have googled him. I'm a nervous. I'm a nervous. Trey is so annoying. Right. So, but speaking of noises, y'all. Huh? <laughs> speaking crazy. of noises, my stomach's growling. Oh, oh lord. Lord. What's wrong with you? Open this, honey. I see, honey. What, what's your fact? Go ahead, your say it. Because I know you itching. What's wrong with you? I'm hungry. Oh lord. Me? About the honey. Honey is the only food that never expires. This <laughs> <laughs> is local it. honey from New Orleans, Louisiana. It's from Paradigm Gardens. New Orleans, Paradigm Louisiana. Gardens. New Orleans, Louisiana, homegrown honey. But look, like you were saying, you want black people to know they're thinking. These bees, they can eat. the bees we use came from Africa. See, now you're lying. That's <laughs> false <laughs> advertising. always got to go too These far. These bees from New Orleans, baby. One bottle of honey I feeds am. a child for look, three days. Ashley, Come on, man. Ashley was speaking. <laughs> <laughs> and she was saying that she she wants to you know promote the healthier lifestyle like everything that's healthy is not nasty. Mm -hmm. Black people, as black people, we gotta we gotta open our. They our definitely bodies. have to. Well, we definitely have to. Do we have better. to. We gotta. We got to. You understand how stubborn people are. They are. Especially New Orleans, yeah. black people. Until you see it on fucking Real Housewives or something on TV. Oh, I gotta right. try this. Like, now I wanna eat escargot. Yeah, like this bitch. Like that's when that's what made that. you wanna that do shit, it. That's, that's, the, that's the truth. I'm, I'm like about the, the texture is. I don't like That's cargo. That's, That's snails, cargo. right? I ain't never. I'm not. I don't like I'd rather squid. eat squid. No, I eat that I'm not, even with, I'm not yeah. even with that. I like. I, I love octopus. I'm not gonna say I like. Yeah, calamari. You like it when it still be moving and stuff? Yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, no. y'all. Okay, this new trend of people eating food on no. camera and going. I hate that. Oh my god. Like, I why do I want to watch that? But you understand that that's. Culture in people other have a places fetish like of watching stuff to like that. that though. People crazy. Like, yeah. A name for it and everything. Like, like watching name. people eat. That's weird as hell. But that's a whole like like in other cultures you supposed to like it Japanese and Chinese. Right. You're supposed, like to you're supposed to belt. You supposed to slurp slurp your food. Like that's complimentary to the chef. My um. Like anything that you eat. Don't you're bite. To, freshman <laughs> freshman year like, had a, a roommate from weird. China. Yeah, it's the truth though. Her name was Crystal, but she wanted me to call her Cherry Woo. I was not calling her Cherry Woo, cherry but she used woo. to be in there <laughs> fucking them noodles. Up. And I had to literally tell her like, <laughs> can cherry you woo. not like? <laughs> and I had to say like, can you or smack gum? I don't she like was, smacking, no. period. She wanted you to call her like Cherry Woo. So I went to a parent teacher woo? meeting this morning, and everybody was fucking smacking. So I used the bathroom, and I got the fuck out of there. Because yeah. I was like, I don't want to go around. Like, I could have just went down the line. I was like, first of all, it's yeah. frozen. That's fucking, some rude shit. It's frozen waffles. 
I don't want that. <laughs> exactly. So I declined. But y'all in here smacking like this shit is some Whole Foods breakfast buffet. They were hungry. I'm out. <laughs> they were well, look, hungry. next time you come, I'll you have food. to bring. Thank you. And I will mm-hmm. gladly, that'll be the only time I might smack a little bit. <laughs> We're not about to have it. Okay, all right. You just I can't won't. eat on mic. Yeah, we going to eat before I. Because, oh, I could just sit back. But she yeah, that to, new she trend with the balance Cheerios on her tongue. Oh yeah, I do. That's we were talking, but that's that's a different that's a episode, secret, ladies man. and gentlemen. <laughs> that's a we want to thank Cheerios. We want to thank Chef Ash. Thank y'all for, for coming. Y'all on. Had fun. This was hell yeah. We're gonna man. have to come. You have to come back. Yeah. So you hold it down for the ladies, because usually. Can I do a cooking demo in here? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, well, y'all should have told me this shit the first time. Hell yeah. That's Jazz fault. Blame Jazz. Huh? We blame Jazz for everything. What? We blame Jazz for all of us. I don't think blame me for I the good I think we got stuff. some hot pockets and some shit in the back. Ash is not about to touch oh, hot pockets. Some, uh, <laughs> yeah, noodles. Definitely gonna try this honey, and, uh, though. Thank y'all for having me. All Check my out, food man. and in my hair. Check it out, man. Uh, oh yeah, tell everybody your Instagram so they can follow um, you. Let that girl cook let on Instagram. Cook. Chef Ash is unique on Facebook. Um, I retired from Twitter. I talk too much shit. I didn't want it to ruin my career, so. You can check my website out, <laughs> www.chefashesyonique.com. I sell recipes, and you can inquire about my services, too. Private. Oh, I had some food for that. We're going to talk about that later. We're going to talk about That's that. That's the next show, because I'm coming baby. back, y'all. Another one. We out of here. We out. Thanks for watching.